Hi guys, welcome to another video. So this video is going to be about the paycheck budgeting for the month of December. I'm a bit late. Sorry for that. And also I will be cash stuffing the envelopes for this month. So let's just get started. Before starting this video, apologize for any noise in the background. Uh, kids are playing outside and you know, you can't really stop kids. So for all the viewers who are watching, if you can consider subscribing to my channel, it will be really helpful for my channel's growth. So for the new ones, this channel is about cash stuffing, budgeting, your monthly income and planning any, you know, sinking funds or reaching your financial goals. And the returning ones, thank you as always for joining me back today. So let's just get started with the video. I have already uh, taken out the cash that I will be stuffing. So we will get to that in a bit. And also I have already jotted down the, you know, breakdown for this month so that you don't, uh, you know, uh, spend more time in while me jotting down the numbers. So as always, my budgeted amount is 1,8965 rupees. This bit is my fixed expenses. This is sinking variable which keeps changing every month and which I can, you know, alter the allotted amount as per my expenses or, you know, uh, as per my needs and requirements. This is my savings and sinking fund. So I plan my, uh, you know, the policies, the insurance, life insurance and all. So I keep it in this category and also my savings and investments. So this is comes under for, I mean, for me, I keep it in savings and sinking fund as per you, like whatever is convenient. If you want to keep it as just investment, you know, you can go ahead, uh, do your own way of working, uh, you know, whatever suits you, whatever. So basically make your budgeting, uh, breakdown as simple as possible. That's the key thing to make your budget simple so that you know how you're working towards it, how you're working towards the goal. If you make it too complicated, you will be just overwhelmed. Like how you're going to save, you know, uh, and how you're going to put money in that category. So keep it simple. So as you see, I will be stuffing mostly, uh, there are a few things that I stuff, not everything. So I will be stuffing my toll and car petrol from here, from this category. Rest all is my online transactions. This is entirely my online transaction. I don't keep cash, my savings and sinking fund. Sinking variable is mostly everything is cash. So except the grocery because I keep it online because I usually buy online through big basket, blanket or even milk basket. So let's go get started with the money I have got with the cash amount. So let's see how much I am stuffing today. So guys, now see a uh, different ambience from what I had uh, earlier because some guest came unannounced that I had to stop shooting and that was in the daytime and now it's in the evening. So the setup has changed a little bit because there is low light. I have to use the candles. So again, I will do the counting. And here we go. 50, 100, 150, 200. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. 500,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000, 16,000 and a 500. So... 16,500 so we are stuffing oops so I had thousand from before plus 16,500 17,500 I'm doing the cash stuffing it will not be all because I will be doing the kids binder stuffing in another video so there will be some leftovers from here so let's get started with my wallet
so miscellaneous is getting 500 gifts is getting 500 car maintenance is getting so this is my toll and car wash so this is getting 1600 500 1000 1500 and 100 1600 petrol i have already uh, used 2000 so i will be only stuffing 3000 today instead of 5000 so 500 1000 1500 2000 2500 and uh, another 500 3000 Dining out is getting 1500, 500,000 and 500, so 1500. Health is getting 500, clothing is getting 300, 1, 2 and 3. And the last one is beauty this is getting 3000 1 1000 2000 and 3000 so this is all for my this month my wallet stuffing So this is all my wallet stuffing. Now I will do my other categories stuffing from this binder. So car and toll wash. This is all the change that I keep. Medical is also I'm building up the fund. So whatever I save uh, from the money I have allotted, I kept in my wallet. I will be putting here. Clothing is the same. This is I'm building the fund. So whatever I save there, I will be putting here household is not getting anything usually what i save from electricity i put it here car maintenance this one is my car insurance which i will be stuffing 1000 so let me write first and then i'll stuff so my december stuffing is a deposit So now in total I should have 1,100. So 500 and 1,000 and 100, 1,100. So that's what I have here. I need to build up this fund again as soon as possible because I have some repairing work coming for my car. Amazon is getting 500. So this had gone to my rollover money so I don't have anything here now so I'm just adding 500 but I will mention rollover so that I know I have not spent it but used it for rollover so now I have 500 here for this month festive is getting 500 this fund i'm building up for diwali and dashera time You know to buy gifts and to you know uh, for all domestic help and families so now I have 1700 
So I'm done in this binder but oh yeah I need to add another category which is the work gift which is a new category now I have. Uh, I don't have an expense tracker right now but I will add one. I'm just putting 500 for this month. So this is a new category I'm starting because I have to you know shell out some money to uh, get gifts for my colleague and all at work. So this is done and the last one is my birthday family and myself that I also do as a saving challenge but today uh, sometimes some months I even stuff so here birthday family is getting 200 So now I have 3,800, 3, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's right. 3800 I have usually my family don't demand much on gifts but still I have something you know to get something for the birthday uh, this is myself my birthday for my birthday so which I'm allotting 800 so in this uh, category I was also doing a challenge which is my goal is 12,000 and 250 is each cake slice. Um, so, so with 800, I won't be able to get the exact uh, uh, cake. Let's see. So, I can only have three of the, you know, cakes colored. So what I'll do, I'll keep the rest of the money in a mini envelope. So whenever I have enough, 250, then I will just stuff it. So 500 and 600, 700 and uh, another 100. So I am stuffing 750 and 50 rupees is the one. which will be stuffed in this mini envelope. So all the budgeting, the binder, the envelopes, the zip pouches, the laminated envelopes, everything is available in my shop. These savings challenges and trackers as well. So if you want, you can just head on to the link I leave for my shop below and you can you know make your purchase there i have an insta shop yeah okay 750 i'll also mention that in my tracker i'm just going to mention 750 because that's how much i'm coloring so now it's 2750 and then i will color three of them So that's one. So this is done. So here. So that's all for today. And 
if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing i will be soon coming up with a uh, you know update of my sinking funds how much i have sa saved one of my subscriber has requested the same and even i was feeling you know uh, i was uh, i'm already working on it and i was feeling that let me put an update to see where am i with my goals and all mm. a lot of places i have not been able to stick around but still i mean what i was before i have really progressed uh so definitely i am in a better place with my finances and savings and investments so i wouldn't say i am in a bad shape but uh, yeah sometimes i feel just go with the life uh don't be too harsh uh you know we need to lose up also a little bit but staying minimal and frugal is also essential but living life is also essential as well so I will come up with an update with my funds soon. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you next time till then bye.